and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Good catch, Pody. Well, have fun. Coming at you, Orko. Okay, if that's how you want to play. <laughs> get it now. Let's get out of here before they catch us. That's Man in Arms Workshop. We better go tell him. Arms is my father's friend. If he gets mad at me, I'll be in big trouble. Why? There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, I'll do the talking. I'm not going. And don't tell on me either. Pony! <sighs> well, I guess I'll have to check out the bad news all by myself. Uh-oh. That's my ball. And that's what's left of my Melectron Analyzer. It doesn't look too good. I guess this means I'm in trouble, huh? Jumpin', Jupiter, what happened here? Orko accidentally broke one of my inventions. Uh-oh, you and Pody got a little carried away in your game, huh? Was Pody involved in this? Oh, I'll take all the blame. No, I think you should tell Pody to come up here also. But she'll think I told on her. Orko, you know her father is chief of the Fantas tribe. I'm sure he'd expect his daughter to take responsibility if she had any part in this. And if you're both at fault, Orko, you should share the responsibility. She's probably in our hiding spot near the vine jungle. I'll go look for her. It was never easy for me to admit I'd done something wrong and then be punished for it. And when you did, the punishment was never as bad as you thought it would be, was it? <laughs> never. not far. Whew. Now I'll be safe. It was never this dark before. Hey! What? <laughs> I knew you'd come here sooner or later. <laughs> Rag, go! Pody! Pody! You can come out now. It's okay. Pody, I think it's okay. Oh, come on, Pody. Where are you? Pody, you in there? I trust 
Arco, that Pody has told you about her father's old friend, Rago? So you're the evil Rago! You've heard of me? What do you want with us? It's Pody we were waiting for. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to help overthrow her father. <laughs> and help me become the new chief. This is Zegon. We will worship him. And as soon as we get the more fire stones for his eyes, we will be ready. The more fire stones? Those are the eyes of our tribal statue. That's right. But we need them. And with their power, Zegon will be undefeatable. Put them inside Zegon. Catch him! Don't worry, Pody. I'll get help! Can't blame a fellow for trying. Orko and Pody should have been back hours ago. Sir, this message just arrived from Chief Merlo. What's the problem? He wants us to keep Pody here. Rago is loose in the vine jungle and Pody may be in danger. The vine jungle? That's where Orko went to find Pody. Tell Teela to meet me at Claw Rock. Let's go, Adam. By the power of Grayskull! fast as I could, Father. I, I hope... Hey, man! Oh, am I glad to see you! Hello, Teela. We'd better get moving. Follow me and be careful. The Vine Jungle is one of the most dangerous areas in Eternia. hiding spot is just ahead. It looks as if we're too late. Look! What's this? That's the ball Orko was playing with. He must have been here. And he wasn't alone. Someone smashed up this cave. Or something. Whatever it was, it had great power. We'd better tell Pody's father. stands in the way of Zegon's power, and soon nothing will stand in the way of my power. By the time your message arrived, Chief Merlo, Hody had already run off. If only she had taken responsibility for her actions, this might never have happened. A giant metal beast has been seen charging toward the sacred temple. It's crushing everything in its path. Drago, he's after the Moor Fire Stones. The Moor Fire Stones? But there's not a man or woman alive who could remove them. True, Tila. But a child can. A special child. The child of the Chief of the Fantus. Pody. Yes. And Rago will stop at nothing to get those stones. Come on, we'd better hurry. It'll take us forever to get through here. 
this staff gets its power from the Moorfire Stones. Their power must never fall under Rago's control. The bridge is too narrow. Jump it! Destroy the bridge! That'll keep anyone from following us. Argo must be enjoying his advantage over me. What does he have against you? I put him in charge of the water supply. He thought he was too good for that job and wouldn't do it. That's why he hates you? <laughs> it's not that simple. We got into an argument and he ran off. Later, he became a thief. He was caught and sent to the prison mines. And he blames you? Yes. He swore to get revenge on me by stealing the Moorfire stones. But I never thought he would go so far as to take my daughter. How can we stop Rigo now? This was the only way to the Moorfire stones. Man-at-arms, give me your tether line to tie across the gorge. we get out. Get on my back and hold on. There's no time to rest. Let's go. So, he mans after us. Not even he will be able to stop us once we get the more fire stones. <laughs> Their magic will mean his defeat and my victory over all Eternia. <laughs> Your father embarrassed me in front of the whole tribe just for not finishing some stupid little job. It wasn't stupid. You were in charge of keeping our water supply clear of vines. It was a job for a girl. Besides, I had more important things to do. But you were supposed to do it, and you didn't. It was your responsibility, and then you ran away. Soon I will be the chief, and we'll see who's responsible for water around here. There it is! The sacred temple of the Panther. And the more fire stones are just inside. Once the more fire stones are mine, I won't have to answer to anybody. You'll answer to my father! Wrong! <laughs> From now on, he'll answer to me. Centaur! Lower Zegon! Give her to me! I won't do it! You will do whatever I say. Take Zegon up. Get them! be able to find them in there. Gotcha! How come I can't ever find anything when I want it? Now, to 
take what should be mine, the title of chief, and power over Merlo. My thanks to you, Pody. You should be proud you helped me overthrow your father. <laughs> and now, I am in charge. By the time He-Man can free Cody and the little alien, I'll be in complete control. <laughs> On, Zigan! Rego will pay for his evil act. Help! Help! Please! It's Orko and Pody. I'll get them out. The power is gone. Rego must have the Moor Fire Stones. <laughs> Well, you two have had quite a day. Hey, man, am I glad to see you. Quick! They've got the stones and they're on their way to the village. You've got to stop them. <laughs> Fellas. Not quite, He-Man. Let's just send that ray right back at you. Push it up, full strength. It is full strength. Uh, he's destroying Zegon. Do something. It looks like you've got everything well in hand. I'll get him. Disappoint you, Rago. Ah, I told you, He-Man, I know this jungle too well. <laughs> and you must know all about clinging vines. I guess you must have forgotten, Rago, and it's your own fault, too. Rego and his friends are going to be hard at work in the prison mines for a long time after all the damage they've been responsible for. And I think Pody has learned how important it is to be more responsible for her actions, too. Where is Pody? 
It was my fault. No, it was my fault the pottery broke. All right, it was your fault. <laughs> what do you mean it was my fault? It was your fault. <laughs> it was our fault. <laughs> <laughs> In today's story, my pal Pody got herself into big trouble. She made a mistake and ran away, which only made things worse. Now everyone makes mistakes, but running away is never the way to handle a problem. So when you make a mistake, admit it. That's the best way I know of to start making things right again. Until later, bye now. <laughs>